tonight, five murders, two police shot, all in the span of one weekend. The latest killing of the broken down now. <laughs> Living life on the merry-go-round. And you can't find out. Hi, I'm Leon Smith, the member of parliament for Nassau Village, the deputy speaker of the House of Assembly, and the executive chairman of BAIC. Recently, many of my constituents have came to me to discuss the issue of crime, not only in our constituency, but in the entire Bahamas. I just want my constituents to know that I do feel your pain and I am aware of your concern as it relates to crime. Many persons in the constituency have even came with several suggestions and different ways in which they think the government may be able to assist in crime. I want to thank you for some of these suggestions. I won't be able to mention all of them, but I just want you to know that as your representative, I will take your concerns to Parliament and I will try my utmost best to see if any of these suggestions can make it into law. It's just, it's just sad. It's just sad when I see the number of persons who have lost their lives. I just want my constituents to know that I hear your concerns and I, I, I feel so bad when one of my, you know, a constituent came to me the other day and said that one of the 16 year old boys who have lost their life lately is her son. And you know, words just couldn't explain how sad that made me feel. You know, my son is 12 years old. This year he's going to be a teenager. And it makes me wonder, how do I let my son now go out into the street and do things that boys normally do when they're teenagers? How am I supposed to feel that my family is safe when this type of stuff is happening? So I just want you to know that this problem isn't just a problem that I look at um, from a distance. I am looking at this problem and I am trying to find the best solutions for these problems whenever I go to Parliament. Nassau Village, I want you to understand that I feel your pain and I'm going to continue to fight in Parliament for solutions to this crime problem. It must stop. It must stop. That we have each other, and for that we have each other, and we will rise, we will rise, we will rise, oh, 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 oh. we will rise, I'll rise up, rise like the day. In spite of the age, I will rise a thousand times. So I encourage all young persons under the sound of my voice to you know, think twice before you go and join that group who you know may be into crime and violence. You know, think twice before you go and consider robbing somebody because you don't have money to feed your baby girl. Think twice before you consider killing somebody, shooting them about the body, and at most times in the head, just because they probably dissed you. My constituents in Nassau Village and to persons all over the length and breadth of the Bahamas. This is not my country. This is not the FNM's country. This is not the DNA's country. It is not the PLP's country. This is all of our country. And together, we can come up with solutions to our crime problem. This is a serious problem. And I'm deeply saddened when I think about the amount of persons who have lost their lives lately. So many of them are either regular faces. So many of them are either familiar faces or they are persons who I actually grew up with. It's just sad. You know, but to end... I just want my constituents to know that I will be bringing your concerns to Parliament. I feel your pain, Nassau Village, and I will continue to fight for the solutions for these concerns in our constituency. God bless you, and God bless the Commonwealth of the Bahamas. Our eyes are afraid.